Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a guide to the Circus D&D. Now I'm going to show you how to get the top rewards, how to get all the rewards in fact, and how to get the max XP after you've got all the rewards if that's really what you want. I know some people won't want the rewards because they're purely pretty much cosmetic, but apart from that, they're only a trimmed, um, trimmed competition escape requirement, which is hence why I've been doing this every week. But I'm not getting the cape, I'm just doing the requirement because it's there. So first of all, I'm going to show you the number of points you need to get each type of costume. Now, first thing I want to know is the Firemaker costume you can only get after completing the Firemaker's Curse quest. And you can only play the two games for that part of the circus if you've done the quest. It's not too high level quest because they lowered the requirement to like 74 Firemaker instead of 91. So most of you should be able to get that if you want to do it. So there's five different types of gear and each going from low points to high points and two of them are on the same points range. Now I want to know, you'll only get the Firemaker gear after you've got all the Acrobat. They all work in the same order, but I'm not precisely sure on the order for the other ones. It doesn't make much difference. If you want to get the gears, then you've got to do it that many times. So I've got the number of rewards in the cent in like the center column. So you can see that you've got to get 1,201 points plus five times to get the full Ringmaster costume. Five times for 1,100 and 1,001 to 1,200 for clown, and so on and so on. It's quite straightforward. So as you can see, there's a lot of audience rewards. However, they're really easy to get, as you'll see later in the video. So for max XP, each week you can get this much XP in each skill. This is not. This is if you're not going for rewards. If you do go for the, if you do go for this XP, you'll probably be getting a, you'll probably be getting the fire makers or the acrobat costume sort of points. So, as you can see, it's pretty damn good XP, to be fair. It takes you about five minutes a week. So, it's not hard at all. And, especially for the agility XP, it isn't bad at all. And the fire making's a decent amount, 40k. However, that's probably not too efficient, considering if you, tra if you train on mage logs, it's a lot faster. But, this is free and a lot easier. Ranged is a decent amount of XP, but again, it's not the hardest skill to train. And magic, I guess, is not... It's not that fast of a skill depending where you train it, so that's pretty decent. It's mainly for the agility XP. So first of all I'm going to show you how to get there before I go into each game. Right guys, so to find the circus, the, you can go on the RuneScape wiki. Now if you search for the circus, like I know it's got a proper name, but I don't know how to pronounce it, and everyone calls it the circus, unless you're weird and call it Balfazas Big Top Bonanza or something yeah, like that, yeah. I'll put it in the video title, of course. Right. So once you find where the circus location is, like obviously there's the RS Wiki and the circus barkers around RuneScape. If you can talk to them, they'll tell you where it is. But once you find it, you'll find this. You'll have a big little gold star thing on the map, which will make it obvious where it is. And when you get here, just click Go to. It'll give you a ticket, and then you'll get sent into the circus. And you'll get greeted by the ringmaster. So just ignore his text by clicking, and if you already had rewards, if you right click rewards, click yes, and through a few chat options, and then you'll have all the rewards that you've currently got there if you've destroyed them and not keeping them in your bank. Now I recommend keeping them here because there is a lot of rewards, and if you keep them in your bank it's going to take a lot of bank space. So this is the optimum place to put, um, put them straight away. Now you take it in your invent, as soon as you tear that you'll leave the circus and you won't be able to go back for another week, which resets on Wednesdays at in the morning in GMT time of course so now I'm going to show you each performance and on each one I'm going to get a certain number of points or try to to get the um, certain rewards so first of all I'm going to show you getting a ringmaster now you need to get 1201 points plus for this so I'm going to show you the ranged performance first so first thing you want to do is start with the ranged assessment by right clicking them I think the first time you've got to actually talk to them first but you want to take five different weapons, well, two sets of different weapons. You know what I mean, right? Five of one weapon, five of another, right? I can't speak. Right, so assuming you're level 70 plus, approximately, you want to just do the 99 one. And each one, you want to switch what weapon you're doing. And you want to do this until you've used all ten moves. This is to get Ringmaster, and so you need the max points. But the audience shout out different things they want. Ignore them. If you're doing the 99 the level 99 moves it it works out better points than doing the lower level moves according to what do they want because the other moves give so many points uh, approx the level 99 moves approximately give 150 points each 
I mean, that's approximate, it's not exact. So it could be sometimes less, sometimes more. It depends really on the game. So it's a rough guide to how many points you want to do that many moves. However, obviously you can fail and that's where it comes into difficulty. As you say, I fail now, but I still get Ringmaster. However, sometimes you won't. It's kind of It kind of varies. I'm not too sure what makes it vary, but it is approximately this. So really what you want to do, as you can see, it's quite obvious. Just keep switching between them, doing different weapons and doing the level 99 one and I'm about to finish last move now or last two moves now and then you'll see I get just enough points for Ringmaster however I don't get it because I've obviously I've already got it as you'll see now let's just fire at one more duck go and kill that duck but I failed again so I'm afraid I've already rewarded you and look 1256 points now that is over 1201 so hence I would have got Ringmaster so let's show you the, the agility performance. Now, this one, if you I failed and it took me below the points for Ringmaster, but I know that generally happens on agility, so I did them all. I don't know why I withdrew 10, I just got into the habit of doing that. So you want to withdraw the top juggling equipment, which is Chin Champers, and then you want to f switch between juggling Chin Champers and doing the back flipper mode. Now, I, again, I recommend at least 70 agility before trying this. I don't think having heavy gear or, any, or anything makes it harder. Or less likely to uh, succeed, but I'm wearing nothing anyway. So, again, you want to just switch to the top, top two. Most, more than likely, most people generally fail once when doing this. It seems quite common to fail. So is mage. Mage, you fail quite a bit. Even though I didn't, fa I didn't fail when I just recorded it just now. But for that, I do the um, acrobat slash fire making sort of points, and that's a lot easier to get. So, as you say, I'm just flip, I'm just switching again. But as I just got hit by the chin jumpers there because I failed. But I went all the way to the 10th performance anyway because I knew on agility, if you fail once, you always get clown. You've got on agility to get ringmaster, you've got to never fail. So that's so I carried on, and look, 1,181 points. Hence, I would have got clown. So there you go. That's how you get clown. You wanna. If, but if you don't fail once, you want to stop about the 8th performance because each one's about 150 points so you want to stop about the 8th and you should have about the right range so for mage, you want to run up to the northeast, kick start and you want to withdraw 5 alchemy, 5 teleport but I withdrew the wrong one because I'm a noob just for some reason thought it was levitate so you want to withdraw the teleport and the alchemy ones now I recommend getting the acrobat slash fire making one on this one because this one's a high ratio of fail, you might not even make the clown score. And you're going to just switch between alch um, using alchemy on the anvil and clicking teleport on the um, little mage thing. And you'll just switch between these for about 7 performances or 6 performances. And you should be able to get the um, acrobat gear. Now the reason I do 7 on this is because you can't do 299s, the little mage is only level 90. So, and so you're getting less points from the mage, so you've got to do a little more on this one to get the more points. So, this is why I'd stick to doing about 7 or 6. And you'll see I get the um, acrobat straight away after doing this. And I'm going to show you how to maximise XP soon. Now, these techniques should work on pretty much any game, however, I recommend doing them on these games. Because these games are like, this one's one of the hardest to fail on and one of the hardest to succeed on so I recommend getting a lower point score on that one for the lower gears so as you say I got the acrobat there but obviously I already had it so now you want to come to the fire making one if you've done the fire makers guess at the southwest now this is to get audience gear so all you want to do is take one piece out use, the, use it and that's it just end your performance early just like I did on the mage you, you don't have to do all performances and you see I got an audience piece I haven't finished getting all the audience pieces would have finished this week but I had to make this guide so I will be finishing that next week all I've got to do, as you've seen I just did one performance as long as you don't fail then you can end it early and you'll have enough points for the audience now for max XP what you want to do is one of each move so you want to go through the highest level to the lowest level and taking the fact if you don't fail you will get them for max XP now as you see I'm just going through them all and this works for every single game so if you want to get max mage XP, you go through doing the 99, the 90 level, the level 80, or whatever level that are, and you just go down them all, doing them all, until you've used the 10 moves. 
and you'll do that the same on agility with the emotes, but not juggling. You can do juggling if you want, but I just do the emotes. It saves time with drawing stuff. And obviously on this fire making one, you just go through all the moves. And as you see, did all six. I would have got acrobat, so that's another way to get acrobat because if you're doing the moves and just getting XP, you'll get about that many points. So I hope that's helped you guys. If you've got any more questions, just leave them in the comment and I'll try to answer them. I think I've tried to cover most things there, so hopefully I've covered everything. If I forgot something, just let me know. So I hope, you've, I hope this helped you, and I should see you guys tomorrow for another video.